All right, starting from the origin, a car travels four kilometers to the east and seven kilometers to the west. What is the net displacement? So when we're calculating displacement, or when they say the net displacement, what is the total displacement from our starting point, the original point, which again is the origin? In order to solve this problem, I'm going to come up with a coordinate system. And I'll just draw that. Remember when we go to the right, that is positive. And when we go to the left, it would be negative. Just fix my positive sign. So I'm going to start off uh, oh, somewhere over here. I'll put a dot. I'm going to call that the origin, the starting point. My first displacement, I'll say, is 4 kilometers to the east. So I'm going to just draw. It could be any length. I'm just saying this is 4 kilometers. So I'll call that positive 4 kilometers. That's my first part of my journey. My net displacement would be positive in the first part because I moved to the right. But we have another part of our journey to deal with, 7 kilometers to the west. So if we come back, I'm going to draw this line slightly longer. That would be negative 7 kilometers because I'm moving to the left, my displacement. And my net change in position depends on my starting point. That would be 0 meters. That's my x naught. And my final location, my x, f, would be in negative territory. If I go forward 4 and then backward 7, that's going to put me at negative 3 kilometers. Or I would have moved 3 kilometers to the west of my original starting point. And to apply the formula for displacement, displacement will be equal to x, f, minus x, naught. So that is equal to my final location, negative 3 kilometers, minus 0 kilometers. That's my starting point. And the net displacement is negative 3 kilometers, or 3 kilometers to the west, because the west indicates negative. Hey.